Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today, A&D is back in the booth. We're painting up a LS for a customer today. We're using our normal product we use, the Eastwood Ceramic Paint. Uh, this is a different color than we've ever done. This is a silver color. Looks like it's turning out really nice. And there you go. One coat down, one to go. So we're on to coat number two now. We generally like to give them two coats. I'm excited to see this LS come together with all the all the goodies that the customers picked out. So it's going to be this silver color here and then the accents are going to be black. I think it'll be a really nice color transition from the gray to the black. And then we're going to put it in the chassis and we're going to start it for the customer so they can see it. But yeah, it looks like it's turning out real nice. We have pretty good luck with the Eastwood paint. It generally lays out really nice. Plus the weather is helping us a lot too right now. Not a lot of humidity. We lucked out today. It's been kind of cold here for a few days and we haven't really been able to paint much. So we lucked out. We got the motor put together today and we decided since the weather was so nice, we just go ahead and shoot it and get it done. Wow, it looks good. So y'all stay tuned and we'll take the tape off of it probably tomorrow and start assembling it the rest of the way and then we'll show y'all when we fire it off. Morning boys and girls. Today we want to catch y'all up on a project. I uh, haven't done much filming on this one. So we want to introduce you to this project before it gets too far gone. Um, this one's a 65 Chevrolet truck and it's short bed chassis. Nice powder coated chassis and no, we didn't do the powder coating. Somebody about two hours away from us in Rocky Mount did the powder coating on the frame, but they did a really good job. Very good. Um, the truck was brought to us because they wanted us to do an LS swap on it. They wanted uh, us to do everything, take care of all the drivetrain, and do a proof of life. Um, this came from one of my LS stash. Yes, I have an affliction, an addiction, um, wh whatever you want to call it. Yes, I, I have a problem. Um, but this came out of our stash. Um, we got the transmission, 4L60. It's a basic 5.3, it's not a six liter, don't get excited. Um, 5.3 with a cam in it, uh, factory heads. The manifolds are the Holly Flotex, which memory serves me right, they were like 230 bucks. And they fit exactly the same as the hooker manifolds, but they're like $160 cheaper because they don't have the hooker logo in the side of them, so. But they still look really nice. Oh yeah, they still look really nice. Um, but the reason we have it loaded up here at the door is because we're taking it to our buddies with an exhaust pipe bender tomorrow. I don't have a bender here. So we're gonna load that up and then tomorrow we're gonna run some exhaust, get it at least back to here before we get to the mufflers. So we can at least put in an O2 sensor, start the LS, 
You probably recognize the wiring harness. We have a Holly Terminator, a Terminator Mac X Max. Um, let's see, part number to the kit, 550-917. I know them by heart, we stock them now. Yeah, that's crazy, a and stocks the Terminator. But we got all that ready. So, and this transmission cross member came from Summit which is really nice because it allows you to have room to run your exhaust, tuck it in. And if you look at the trailing arm cross member, it has the cutouts already in it for the exhaust. So some upgrades on some of the pieces here for the LS swap. We'll come back to the tank. Uh, the tank, the owner provided this tank and we wanted to try to use it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the fuel pump here on the front of the rail and the regulator and then run the lines up to it. And we weld it in a return down to the bottom of the tank. So you can have a return like come back off the regulator. He's gotta bring us the bed, which we're gonna put the fill neck in the side of the bed. He's gonna bring us the bed before it gets painted. Smart idea. Before it gets painted, we're gonna cut a hole in it, find some gas hose for the filler neck, and then here's your tank vent. So, little upgrades on the truck is it's got Cadillac Eldorado brake calipers, so it's rear disc. Now, I don't know if everybody knew that, but that is Cadillac Eldorado calipers and then you just have the adapter to get to the truck 12 volt rear end and a truck 12 volt rear end is different than a gm car 12 volt rear end for those that didn't know um we have the drive shaft being made by our buddy matt at fleet pride he's supposed to call me sometime this week whenever the drive shaft's done we'll go by and pick it up um, let's see what else. We're probably going to have to get a power steering hose made, the pressure side. The return side's going to be fine, but the fitting, I'm betting, is not going to work for the pressure side. We are waiting for our throttle cable bracket. We have the throttle body that goes on here, but we don't have the bracket that holds your cable. So we're waiting on that to bolt all that up. And we're waiting on the owner. He's going to bring the core support so that we can set a radiator and get a distance for a fan. I think we're going to be just fine, but we wanted to mock it all up before painting to check all this, everything, before it gets painted. But I think it's everything. And the dipsticks, just in case y'all are looking at these, these are going to get changed once... Everything's done once the truck's painted. There's gonna be coil covers on it. All that's gonna be covered up. We're just kind of waiting to see what they do for colors in the engine bay, and we're gonna try to bring it all together. So this stuff's kind of in waiting. It's just so we can start it, have proof of life, proof that it runs, you know, that it's alive. And let's see, I think that's everything. Yeah. The brakes. I don't know if the wheels and tires, I think he's going to keep the wheels and tires. I'm not sure, but I think he is. But I need to pump that tire up. It's flat. Okay. So before we put it up on the car trailer, I need to pump that up. Sounds good. But, yeah. So, if y'all like this, Click the like button, and if you haven't, please click the subscribe and click the little bell notifications. And we're gonna have a power tour video coming out soon. I actually had somebody call me today from YouTube watching the power tour, called me and asked me more questions, which was fine. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing a route one coming up. Yeah, we're doing. Hopefully the route for Power Tour is coming out soon. We're going to do a video explaining all about the route. Um, 
But yeah, comment below what you like about the chassis, what you don't like. And if I can find the guy's number for the powder coating, I'll put it in here. But if I, if I don't find it, we'll put it in later or something. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And as we end all our videos, thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank, thank you, you for, for today. today.